Hello grade 12, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to sketch a cubic function. There are four steps that you're going to follow. The first one will find the x uh, value of the stationary point. How do you find that? You find the derivative equated to 0 and solve for x. Then the second step, you take those values. You substitute in the original equation. That's why I say f at x here. Then you find the y coordinate of the turning point. Then the step, third step, you find the y and the x intercept by letting y be 0. Find the x intercept, letting x be 0. Find the y intercept. And then the last step, you determine the shape. The shape will depend on a. a is the number that goes with x to the power 3. If A is positive, your, your graph starts down, go up, go like that. If A is negative, you start, your graph starts up, go down, go up, go like that. Let us look at an example. Okay. Here's our, our function. f at x is equal to minus 3x cubed plus 3x plus 2. Then you find the stationary point to find the derivative. f at x is equal to minus 3x squared plus 3 then the, the derivative of a constant is 0. Then it will be 0. Then we take this, we equate it to 0 to find the stationary point. Negative 3x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. Negative 3x squared is equal to negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Then your x squared is equal to 1. Square root both sides. x is equal to plus minus 1. So we have two values a positive 1 and negative 1. I'm going to take these values, put them in the original equation to find the y coordinate of the chain point. Let's do that. Okay, to find the y coordinate, I'm going to say when f is one, when, when x is 1 is equal to, I have a minus, then 1 cube plus 3 into 1 plus 2. Then you punch it into your calculator. So you punch minus open bracket 1, close bracket cube, plus 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2. Then my coordinate is, I get a 4. So when x is 1, y is 4. Then I find the other coordinate, minus 1. It's equals to minus, minus 1 cube, plus 3, minus 1, plus 2. And I do it in my calculator. Please try to use your calculator as much as you can because you'll make that will be minus 3 plus 2. And then it's 0. When x is minus 1, y is 0. So these are my two turning points. Are my two coordinates of the turning point 1 and 4, minus 1 and 0. Then the next step. We've done the second step. That we will find the x and the y intercept. Let's do that. Now we're going to find the x intercept. To find the intercept, you use this method. This is the easier method that I find. Then you write each coordinate for each. But when you're looking at our expression, we don't have x squared. So you need to substitute that with a 0. So the first coefficient is minus 1. The second one is supposed to be x squared. So I don't have. I put a 0. Then the next one is 3. Then the next one, it's 2. Then you take your calculator, you find the factor. You put 1 in the equation, substitute x with 1. Then you, 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 you see you need to get a 0. If you don't get a 0, you try minus 1. So minus 1 is the one that works. Then you write the minus 1 here. Drop the first one. That minus 1 times minus 1 will give you 1. You write in the second one. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 times minus 1 will give you minus 1. Minus 1 plus 3 will give you 2. 2 times minus 1 will give you minus 2. Minus 2 will give you 0. Then you write your function. But because we are finding that you're going to say, we're not going to write the function, we're going to say 0 because we want the intercept. The first um, Factor is this one. So it's x plus 1. Then these ones. You have minus x squared 
plus x plus 2. Right. And now you need to factorize this trinomial. So you have x is equals to x plus 1. Then you have two brackets. And the first bracket is minus 1, minus x and x here. You have a plus 2 here and a plus 1 here. So when you look at this, is the same uh, factor. So you don't need to write it twice. x is equals to minus 1 or x is equals to minus 2. You have a minus 1 here is equals to minus 2. Then you have plus 2 like that. Yes. The other factor will be x is equals to plus 2. Right, so your coordinate minus 1 and 0, and the other coordinate is x, uh, it's 2 and 0. My x coordinate is 2, so it's 2 and 0. I want you to notice something. When you get 2 uh, intercept, it means one of the intercept is the turning point. When you look at the turning point, one, one of the, the turning point is exactly the same as this one. Okay, we have everything that we need. Oh, the last thing, we need to look at the shape of our graph. When you look at our A is negative, so our graph will look like that. We're going to start up, go down, go up again. Let's draw the function. Okay, now we are ready to draw our graph. We're going to start by marking our intercept. The first intercept that we got, we got minus 1 and 0. So this is the point. The other one was 2 and 0. And then our y intercept was 2 and 0. Was 0 and 2. Okay. Let's look at our turning point now. Right, our turning point, it was minus 1 and 0. Is the, the, the turning point that's an intercept. And the other one was 1 and 4. So it should be the point there. 1 and 4. Our graph, when we draw a graph, we're going to start up like that, turning the turning point, crossing the y-axis, go there, and go. Our function will look like that. Okay. You just need to practice this section. is not hard. Okay, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.